Welcome back, welcome back. We reverse Ringo part three. Talking about women in terms of preparing them to be these good women that they claim they're trying to do. Not speaking the same thing that men are doing. These women are literally doing what men are doing. This is crazy. Let's go. Who have the mentality of an 18, 19 year old trying to still be a city girl. You're saying that a woman who is 40 and 50 is acting like a city girl. Really? What does that have to do with teaching women how to be better women? Why you ain't talking and, and teaching that 40 year old and 50 year old to be a good woman? Um, if she's giving the example of the older people, that must mean she believes in her mind. Younger women are watching her. And instead of bullshit and talking directly to them, she's saying, look, that's your future. Look around where you are and look at all the ones that are that age and then look what the fuck they're doing and see, you'll see, you'll see your future. So, you know, maybe, maybe that's what she's doing. This is all a what if, because I don't know what the fuck, I'm not agreeing with anyone, but I know I use that tactic myself a lot. Come on. You know why you're not? Because there's no money in that. You ain't going to get the praises of men by trying to teach 40 and 50 year old women how to be something that you're not. Let's go. Telling other women that they don't, oh, you know, you don't need no man. You can do better by yourself just because you're miserable by yourself and you want company in that misery. See, same thing that we brothers been teaching for years. I'm always talking about those issues. That's nothing new. Nothing's new under the sun, right? So now she's saying that the 40 and 50 year olds, 50 year olds are miserable and they want other women to have to be in their company to be just mi as miserable as they are. <coughs> How is that solving any of the problems? What are the solutions? What are the solutions? Because all I see is you're feeding a machine madness, which keeps everybody divided and separated. That's all she's doing. Everybody gotta start she's not up building answers. the community. She's tearing the community down by giving men a dopamine rush. Oh, yeah. In other words, yo, she's going. See, my greatest reality of knowledge is knowing fakers is the fake ass niggas they, they put on here to just keep people going in a circle. They can't fucking say certain things. It's not in their contract. They're puppets. And this is why I always say, if I watch your shit and don't learn not one thing new, if I keep hearing you talk about the same old shit about different people, though, I'm not beef for that shit, nigga. I know you ain't allowed to say real shit. Then, bro, yo, she's going in. And now you're excited about that. You get your dopamine rush, you're good. Let's go. No matter how old a man gets, he's always going to have options. Notice, she said how, no matter how old a man get, he will always have options. She's gassing you brothers up, fam. Basically. She's gassing up all you brothers. She's basically saying, no matter how old you get, you will always have options. If that's... She's actually talking about men like you that have this large studio and obviously a decent house. Um, I'm sure Ringo over there can scoop up women. And since you're building yourself more, about the time you're 50, 60, you're going to have more. And you're still going to have options. She's not talking about dusty ass niggas. Duh. She's talking to the men that are successful, that have the, you know, overwhelming gap of not being able to find a good wife. And she's trying to encourage them, dog, just keep your dick in your pants, relax. You have time. Don't just nut in one of these dummies and get her pregnant. Uh, you might get a good girl pregnant and still get divorced. It doesn't matter, but at least don't get a crazy one pregnant and deal with the bullshit. That's the truth. Why, why do most men are single? Why most men are single and childless if you have all these options? Talk to me. Facts. He ain't lying about that. More women have children than men have children. Statistically, I guess. If men got all these options, why these men out here single and don't have no women, no wives? Certainly. Why these guys are not Certainly. getting it in with some woman? Why these guys are... Op we all know who they're talking about. See, this is why I don't like none of y'all YouTube niggas. Y'all disrespect the lower 
the lower ones, and y'all group them all in, and then y'all group them in with Chad Tyrone and fucking Mr. Long, and y'all act like they're not only talking about those dudes that are getting the women. That's who the fuck they're talking about. They're not talking about all the regular guys, because they beat women's head in to not want regular guys. Always on social media complaining about how, you know, these women are this and these women are that. How come? If they have all these options. She's gassing, she's, listen, she's gassing you guys up to make you think the older you get, it doesn't matter your age, you can still go out there and just do whatever you want with women. That may be true to a certain extent, but that's not true. Yep. That's not entirely true. Yeah. You can be a brother, get older, have money, have this, have that. That doesn't mean you bagging women every day, bro. Nope. You got shit That's a lot. Yep. Dudes are not out here bagging women the way they making it seem online. Nope. A lot of these cats on social media be acting like, oh, you know, we out here getting all these women and, you know, we're dating coaches and all this other mess. Listen, fam, They're no lying. man have that much time in a day exactly. to be thinking about a woman exactly. all day long. Exactly. It makes no sense. You understand? Exactly. It makes no sense at all. Ringo anyway, let's get back to the tape. Right Younger, finer, fitter, willing, but they wasted all their time telling all these good men. Notice. She's saying that the men have all these options to find younger, finer, this or that or all this other mess. That's not true. Not all. The She's time. talking to a selected group of men. Yeah. That typically run through women. Yeah. She's literally speaking a Kevin Samuels talking point right there. He ain't lying about Are you that. not getting it? He ain't lying Let's about rewind that. that back. Let's go. Big dog Kev did. Don't no matter how old a man gets, he's all. But you know what's real funny? I proved that Tom Likas was saying that shit on the radio before there was an internet popping off like the way it is. And I literally made like three to four videos. I'll put it out on the other channel and put it on here. Um, and proved that everything Kev said, that this white man said about his women. So did Kev steal it? Did Kev steal? I was going to have options. Younger, finer, fitter. Willing, but they wasted all their time telling all these good men, oh no, you know, you're not my type, and you know, I need a man that's gonna do all this stuff for me. You, you two broke for me. Y'all brag about the fact that y'all don't cook. <laughs> you brag about the fact that you're not cleaning for nobody. You brag about the fact that I you're selfish. You brag care. about all these things that are contrary to what a man wants. What happens is they start approaching that wall. Once they are approaching that wall, or once they hit it, they already got kids. They're not in their prime anymore. And then they get frustrated. They Let me rewind that back. Hold on a second. Try to convert other women and try out the fact that you're not cleaning for nobody. Uh -oh. You brag about the fact that I'm telling. He about to hit you with a left hook haymaker. All these good men. Oh, no. You know, you're not my type. And, you know, I need a man that's going to do all this stuff for me. You women typically always do that when they're in their prime. When women are in their prime, that's normally when they say, I don't want this man. I don't want that man. Women don't do that when they're in their 40s and 50s. In their 40s and 50s, typically when a woman want that man. Do you understand? So at this point, she's talking about, that's the young women that's doing that. The young women believe they got all this time on their hands to waste. And that's typically what women do. When they're in their prime, they figure they got all these options because all these men are throwing themselves at them and nice. they're getting all this attention. Not realizing these men are not chasing these women around because they want to marry them. They just want to smash. Facts. And that's one of the biggest deceptions with a lot of women is that they don't understand the game. They think because they're young, fine, and got it going on that men want to marry them. See, I kind of call bullshit on that because the red pill community and all you guys, y'all always constantly say women teach women this. So either they know or they don't know. And if they, you know, you just got to kind of stick to one no, these men just want to smash. And they know. Because most of these guys out here, they don't even have the educational value of understanding how to take care of a woman. See, here on Ringo TV Reactions, we teach a balanced message. I hope you don't teach that women use sex as a weapon because that diffuses everything you say. Because, you know, that would mean they know what they're doing. We teach men how to be men. We teach women how to be women. We rebuke the men and we rebuke the women. We correct the men, we correct the women. That is that not what she does? That's how we do it here. You have men that don't know how to... We got a master Windu Jedi now. 
treat women. You have men that don't know how to take care of a family. You have men that have a bunch of problems. Just like 